Okay, ready to make part two to the Lingo Millennial Cards or whatever they're called. I'll put I'll put the official name of them in the description, but here's a part two because I just finished recording part one, but I just want to split it into two videos. So here we have the incorrect. They only have one incorrect, which is turn height for a party. Just said that was incorrect because turn is like you're already height. So like you can't can't be height for something if you oh Turn, well, it was wrong. Watch the video if you want to, you know, argue with me. But this is uh, kind of correct. Slay and Ghost. You can watch the first video to find out why too. And the correct pile, which I will not be reading because it's very big. And they've actually gotten a lot correct. But getting ready to finish up this deck. You have Fam. Friends who feel more like family. Fam. Like, that's my fam. Squad. Um... I'm going to put this in the eh only because fam you can actually say with your actual family too. Like it's not just friends who feel like family. Like you can actually call your family like fam. So it's like eh, not only friends. So ratchet, trashy. Uh, ratchet, I wouldn't say trashy. Like I don't really know what it means. So I don't know what it, I don't even know what ratchet means. So I'm just gonna say okay to their definition. I don't know what ratchet means. They say it means trashy. I don't know what it means honestly. So I'm not gonna say I do, but put that in the correct pile. Snatched, attractive. Okay, I haven't heard of this one either. Someone snatched. I thought snatched meant like they're taken. Like they have a they have a girlfriend or boyfriend. Snatched, attractive. I don't know about this one snatched he snatched no i would say that's a no no that does not mean false false information lingo goat greatest of all time yeah goat greatest of all time it's an acronym squad group of friends people you chill with hang with that's my squad yeah that's that's what squad is you trill true and real i haven't yeah I was gonna say I haven't heard of that, but I have. Like someone had it as a user one time, and it was like, it's like Robert Ben Trill. So I guess true and real. Yeah, that's that sounds that sounds right. It's like a mix, true and real, trill. High key, straight up truth. Yeah, that's high key. Like when someone says that's high key, facts. Like yeah, that's that's truth, man. That is straight up truth. High key. And low key is kind of like, keep it, like don't tell anyone. Keep it low key, keep it chill. High key is like, yeah, he's telling the truth. Blessed, feeling fortunate. Yeah, say I'm blessed. Hashtag blessed, feeling fortunate. You're like, yeah, I'm thankful, feeling fortunate. Yeah. Beat, to have a face full of makeup. No, uh, the only words I know for beat is the actual word, not the slang. So I'm gonna put that in no, because I don't think beat needs to have a full face of makeup. Uh, <clears throat> Netflix and chill. Um, we'll, uh, I don't know what demographics watching this, so we'll just keep that. We'll put that to the right. Low key, low intensity. Yeah, like I said, low key, low intensity. That's true. That's true. The card before this was pretty low key. Anyways, moving on. The silent generation. Oh, this is like a fun fact one. I'm gonna hold it up there for a little. The silent generation born 1928 to 1945. Baby boomers born 1946 to 1964. Generation X. 1965 to 1980, Millennial 1981 to 1996, Post, oh, is this Post? There was like, I think this is Millennial slang, not Post Millennial slang. So I think they might come out with a deck that's like Post Millennial slang. But I think this is just Millennial slang, so I don't know. Yeah, that's true, I mean. Dank, really cool. Uh, I feel like Dank memes. Like, th that's the only time I've heard of dank. Someone say dank memes. 
I feel like those were like some edgy memes, but like cool. But I think it's also like edgy and dark, like dank. So I'm gonna put it in the middle for that. Eh. Dead, euphorically happy. Dead. Um. Oh yeah, like I'm dead. I think it's something like I feel like dead. When you say dead, it's like funny though. Like I'm dead. I'm like that was funny. Nah, so that that one's wrong. I'm gonna say dead means like happy. Uh, no, I mean no, cause that's what it said. Euphorically happy. No, dead means like you're you're laughing. Like you're yeah, put that in the eh. They were kind of right on that one. Adulting. To grow up and act responsible. Yeah, like that person's adulting. Why is he acting so grown up? Like, why is he adulting? Yeah, correct. Ding, ding, ding. Swerve. Get out of the way. Yeah. Like, swerve. Like, swerve is like with driving too. Like, he swerved. And he, like, when they're driving and they swerve, they, they get out of the way or it's like jerky driving. So, <laughs> swerve's correct. Extra dramatic behavior, dramatic behavior. Yeah, like he's being extra. He's doing, he's just doing the most extra. Yeah, doing unnecessary stuff. Dramatic behavior, as Lingo might say. Savage, petty? No. Savage is like someone who doesn't really care. Not petty, it's like the opposite. Savage is like, oh, savage. Like he's a savage. Like he doesn't care. He doesn't, he doesn't give up. Frick, what's going on? So I think savage means like they don't care, not petty. Kind of just like you don't care. <laughs> Swole, someone who works out. Um, I wouldn't say swole as someone who works out because like I think swole is more like you're just really strong. You don't, swole is to describe someone who's really strong, not someone who works out. Someone who works out, like you could be, you could work out and not be strong, but someone wouldn't call you swole. Not not to say like everyone starts somewhere, but like you wouldn't say someone who's like not very strong is swole just because they work out. I don't think that would make any sense. Shipping, wanting two people to date. Yeah, like I ship them, I see them dating, I want them to date, that kind of thing. Suh, short version of what's up. Yeah, suh, dude. Like that thing was, that phrase was, so popular when I was in like seventh grade. So, what's up? Yeah, so. Stan, a combination of a stalker and a fan. Never heard of that one. That's right. Boogie, someone from a higher class. Boogie, someone from a higher class. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I, I've never even heard of this word before. So I'm learning too. Boogie, someone from a shore. I didn't know that was a thing. Someone from a high, like upperclassman, like boogie. He's a boogie. Means an upper class person. Boogie, okay. I L Y, I love you. Yeah, correct. Bruh, another way of saying seriously. Like, bruh, are you serious? Bruh. Yeah, that's actually, that's true. That one's. 100% true. Someone does something that's like, that like zones you. Like, you're like, bruh, like, why would you do that? Seriously? V, very, V, the letter V. Very, V. Yeah, that's right. Like, V, V, people, very, very. FOMO, fear of missing out. Yep. BRB, be right back. Yep, TBH to be honest. Correct. And that's the end of the deck. Uh, overall, they got about one, two, three, four, five wrong. And one, two, three, four, five. so t and five like on the border. So they got they got a lot more correct than they did right or wrong. So would I recommend it? I mean, as a gift, like you could give this as a gift to someone, it'd be funny, read them off, talk about them. Yeah, I'd say they're worth it. They're called, the brand here is, is Lingo. And like I said, I'll put the official name in the description. But if you did enjoy watching,
subscribe and um, hope you enjoyed the video.